waves. One of the first things we need to know about waves is there are two different types of wave. One shown here by waves in the sea and the other one shown by sound waves. So how are they different? Well first let's look at the sea waves. If we look at them represented with this slinky we see that the vibrations are at 90 degrees or perpendicular to the direction of travel of the wave. These are called transverse waves and examples of them are waves in water, waves on a string or light waves. Now let's look at the sound waves again. Again we see them represented by the slinky but this time the direction of vibration is parallel to the direction of travel. These are called longitudinal waves and the only example you really need to remember is sound. One really important thing to remember about waves is they only transfer energy from place to place, not any matter. And we can see that here by looking at a lovely rubber duck sat in a bath. As a wave goes through, the duck bobs up and down, but once the wave's gone, he's back to his original position. The wave has carried energy through, but it did not carry the duck with it. Finally, we need to know some key features of waves. First off, wavelength. A wavelength is the length of a full cycle of a wave, from one point to the next same point. It's easiest to think of as a distance from crest to crest or from trough to trough. And we measure it in meters and it's given the symbol lambda, a nice Greek symbol. The amplitude is like the size of a wave. But we need to remember that it's measured from the equilibrium position, or the central line, to the crest, not from the crest to the trough. Finally, frequency, which is the number of complete waves to pass a point every second. And it's given the unit of hertz. So an example of this would be if 10 waves pass in 2 seconds, the frequency would be 5 hertz. Using these things, we can actually now calculate the speed of a wave using the equation speed equals frequency times wavelength, or to give it in symbol form, V equals F lambda. So there's a lot to learn here, but once you've learned these core concepts, it will give you much more confidence in the rest of the topic.